Hey guys, welcome back to Yasin's Inspiration. It's been a difficult year, but I also can't believe that we have less than a week to the new year. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 life-changing mindset habits that will definitely improve your life in 2022. So watch till the end. Number one. By the time we are adults, we are the sum total of the choices that we've made. Every day in our life, we are faced with choices, ranging from small ones like what to eat, what to wear, when to leave from home to school, whether to watch a movie or read a book, to bigger choices like whom to marry and what careers to pursue, and things like that. And the choices that you make today will in turn determine how and what your future would look like. You are where you are today because mostly of the choices that you made yesterday. And where you will be tomorrow will be based on the choices that you make today. And so making healthy choices for yourself today will help you live a healthier life tomorrow. So you are the choices that you make. Number two, you will be as happy as you make up your mind to be. That is to say that happiness is a choice. It doesn't depend on the circumstances that you are in, but how you choose to think about and react to those circumstances. If there's one thing that the past year has taught us is that life is so unpredictable. And so deciding to be happy now and today is more relevant than ever. Choosing not to postpone happiness for tomorrow is more relevant than ever. So you will be as happy as you decide to be. Number three, your happiness is your responsibility, not your friends or your significant others. I spoke about this concept in a different video, but it is when you realize that your happiness is your responsibility, that is when you will start to depend on yourself to generate your own happiness and not depend on other people to actually make you happy. By doing so, you become a happier person. So your happiness is your responsibility. Number four, the most important relationship in your life is the one you have with yourself. For it sets the standards for all your other relationships. You can only love and take care of other people if you know how to do these things for yourself. You cannot fill someone else's cup when your own cup is empty. And so self-love is the most important form of love. Which leads me to the fifth mindset habit that you need to nurture. Which is that self-love is not selfish. Putting your needs and your goals and your wants first isn't a selfish act. On the contrary, Nurturing a deep form of self-love is so important and essential. It is so fundamental as it is only when we love ourselves that we can be kind and forgiving to ourselves. And if we can do these things for ourselves, then we cannot do it for any other person. And so the most important person to love, like I said, is yourself. And when you do that, then you can be able to do the same thing for other people. Number six, it is okay to not be okay. See, life is a roller coaster. There are highs and lows. There will be times in your life where you are so happy and filled with so much joy and everything is just going perfectly as planned. And there will be times in your life where it just seems as if everything is just set up against you and just life is just out there to just, you know, be against you all the time. And so we can't be okay all the time, which is totally fine. You just need to be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself while giving yourself time to heal and to get there eventually. So it is okay to not be okay. Mindset number seven, it is okay to not have things figured out. This year might be, so far for me, the one that I didn't have many of the things in my life figured out. And so I've come to learn that it is okay to not have things figured out. Uncertainties are an integral part of life. If everything was crystal clear, if our future was so black and white and everything was predictable, then life wouldn't be as interesting and worthwhile as it would be. And so doubts and uncertainties and questions that you have are all part of life. And so it is so important for you to understand that you won't have the answers all the time. You won't have things figured out all the time. It is when you come to terms with this, it is, it is when you make peace with this fact, then you will understand that all that you're going through of doubts and uncertainties are all part of life. So you have to be able to give yourself time to figure things out and just trust your journey and trust the timing and know that, and know that in due time, everything will fall in place and everything will just be okay. So it is okay to not have things figured out. Number eight, you are who you surround yourself with. This is an old adage, but you are as good or bad as the people that you surround yourself with. And so part, part of making healthy choices for yourself is deciding who you want to spend your time with. The best kind of people to spend your time with are people that are constantly striving to be better. People who are always growing and working on themselves. People that uplift you and inspire you to actually be better. For example, if you want to be a more positive person, you don't want to be spending time with people who are always bitching about their boss and bitching about life and complaining about how unfair life is. So you are who you surround yourself with. Number nine, everyone is good. 
I believe that one of the best ways to actually be good and do good for other people is to believe that everyone else is good. Everyone has immense goodness in them. So people might just be more generous in sharing that goodness with others. You might meet people who might seem like bad people or like they're just mean to you, but they're just that way for a reason. No one is bad just like that. That is what I believe. And so it is important for us when we meet people that appear to be bad or mean to ask ourselves, if we live the life they lead, how would we turn out to be? If we live through their experiences, how would we turn out to be? It's when we ask ourselves these deep questions and reflect on them that we can be kinder to others, no matter how they react or no matter how they behave towards us. And so have the mindset that everyone is good and treat everyone with goodness and kindness. The last and final mindset habit that I want to leave you with is that you're not responsible for the things that happen to you, but how you react is your responsibility. When you realize that how you react in your life is your responsibility, then you take your power back. You don't let people that are mean to you make you mean. We might not be responsible for what happens in our lives, but we are responsible for how we react to the things that happen. We're not responsible for losing a job or losing a loved one or having bad parenting. But how you react to those things is totally in your power. Do you become a more vengeful person? Do you become angry and bitter at the people that are around you? Or do you choose to be kind? Do you choose to just see things in a positive way? Or do you choose to be negative instead? So how you react to things is totally in your power. And when you realize it, that you don't give your power away. Thank you so much for watching this video. Those are the 10 life-changing mindset habits I had to share with you. I hope that this new year is good to you. I hope that you live your best possible life and to live the best version of you, you that is there. Always strive to be better and always strive to improve on yourself. And as always, stay inspired and stay happy. I wish you well in this year. Bye for now.